Guys, 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 Mark Wahlberg is being dragged, let's just say, all over Twitter because of his recent post, which was in support of George Floyd. But a lot of people thought it was contradicting and it was filled with hypocrisy because of his past. But I also wanted to make this video because I do feel like should people be forgiven for their past and can people change from their past or are they still going to be the same exact person? Food for thought. This is Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Let me get a bit closer to you guys because this is an interesting video. Subscribe to the channel and let's get into this video daily and consistent, guys. Daily and consistent. Mark Wahlberg is reconciling with alleged past behavior after critics called him out on social media for posting a tribute to George Floyd amid the consisting ongoing protests for, for police brutality and because of his you know alleged racist behavior in the past. Fans are quick to point out that the former rapper's history of allegedly racially motivated crimes disqualifies him from speaking out on the matter of racial injustice. The comments on his Instagram lit up with users reminding the actor of two incidents from the 1980s which many believe racism played a massive factor in his violent behavior. Remember when you threw, block, you threw rocks at little black girls? LML, this isn't genuine, just delete it. Shame on you after what you've done. Haven't you committed multiple hate crimes that you wanted to get pardoned for? You should still be in jail. You should not be a celebrity. I can't believe I watched and paid for your work and never again. People are obviously furious because of their sheer hypocrisy. There's a whole section it used to be called hate crimes, but I think they've changed it to racial incidents, whoever the hell that was. But in June 1986, the 15 year old Wahlberg and three friends chased after three black children whilst yelling, kill the N word, kill the N word, and throwing rocks at them. The next day, Wahlberg and others followed a group of mostly black fourth graders taking a field trip on a beach, yell yelled racial verbiage at them, threw rocks at them and summoned other white males who joined in the harassment. In August 1986 a civil action was filed against Wahlberg for violating the civil rights of his victims and the case was settled. Another racially charged act incident occurred in 1988 a 17-year-old Wahlberg assaulted a middle-aged Vietnamese man on the street, calling him a Vietnam effing S-H-I-T and knocking him unconscious with a large wooden stick. Wahlberg attacked a second Vietnamese man later the same day, punching him in the eye. When Wahlberg was arrested and returned to the scene of the first assault, he told police officers, I'll tell you now that that's the mother F whose head I split open. Investigators also noted that Wahlberg made numerous unsolicited racial statements about G-O-O-K-S and slant-eyed G-O-O-K-S. Wahlberg was charged with attempted murder, pleaded guilty to felony assault and was sentenced to two years in jail but served only 45 days of his sentence. Wow. Ridiculous. Wahlberg believed that he had left the second victim permanently blind in one eye though Trin stated that he had lost his eye in the, Vietnam, in the Vietnamese war. In August 1992, Wahlberg fractured the jaw of his neighbour, Robert Crahan, in an attack. Wahlberg, well, why is this man so aggressive? Without, um, I, I really don't understand. And called him racial slurs as well, and McCall was black. In 2006, Wahlberg said the right thing to do for him would be to meet with Trin, the guy who punched him, and, you know, he didn't make, and he didn't make him blind, and make amends. Um, they obviously made amends, and Trin forg forgave him. Um, one of the black children attacked by Wahlberg opposed the pardon because Wahlberg tried to get himself pardoned from his convictions in 2014. You can't, like, wow. And one of the black children who was attacked ages ago said, a racist will always be a racist. Um, who had been the prosecutor in some of these cases, Judith Beals, argued that Wahlberg has never even acknowledged the racial nature of his crimes and that a pardon would undermine Wahlberg's charity work. A former public pardon would highlight all too clearly that if you are white and a movie star, a different standard applies. So, these are just, you know, some of this stuff in the past is already publicly there. It's not like it's just been brought up from nowhere. It's been public there. It's on, it's documented, it's filed. He even had a career called Marky Mark and his entire career as a rap artist was 100% influenced by black by black culture as you can see from just everything so it's interesting how you know and I feel like what people are saying is true but can somebody change can somebody you know who can understand themselves but then again it's like if you've changed why were you trying to pardon yourself from your convictions in 2014 were you just trying to erase your history do you know what i mean so i find it to be a very interesting conversation but people are furious and they're like you know there's sheer hypocrisy here what are you what are you doing 
there's no point in you even saying anything because it's just not going to work it's not genuine it's not real do you have a dark kind of history with you know harming people chasing them down the roads and causing them so much pain and some of these people have said you know what we forgive you others have said nope you are still what you are you have not changed and if you were you know somebody who said that they have changed why would you try to pardon yourself from your convictions that didn't work and then you apologize for that as well so food for thought guys it's a very interesting kind of video that i wanted to do i'm so interested to see your comments what side are you on if you are on a side when it comes to this whole situation do you guys think he has been forgiven can you guys forgive him do you guys think everybody can change from their past or do you think he still thinks the way he did but back in the day and what are your thoughts with him trying to show solidarity subscribe to the channel let me know what your thoughts are and i'll catch you guys soon for another video